Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Way the Hunter, we're going after one of the most special trophy animals in Way the Hunter at Machiki Park. It's Ghost. Now, to get Ghost, you do the story missions, and once you've got to a certain point in it, you will trigger Ghost on your map. So he's not actually a mission himself, so you won't see Go Get Ghost or anything like that. That confused me at first, but if you do the story, and it's an amazing story at Machiki Park, so make sure you check it out. I had a lot of fun doing it yesterday. And uh, once you've done the story, you will have Ghost on your map. And we'll go over locations in a minute and where we're going to find him. Now I've already been over to where Ghost is supposed to spawn. You start at half past ten. From sort of this area, let's just show you right now. Because there's a few ways you can get to where he is. The red marker will mark where he sort of spawns. He can be slightly different places. But he's roughly around this red marker. But you can come from any location you want um, to that red marker. But because it's in like a valley, I'm coming from the bottom. And I'm going to go to the right and to where that red marker is. And hopefully find him there. But I've tried other ways uh, from above, from below. And uh, it all depends on where he is. Because he's in a valley, there's a lot of animals around this location. So you've got things like sick deer, fallow deers white-tailed deers there's quite a few animals in this location and you you might spook them and that might spook him or you might spook him along the way because like i say if he's in the dip when you get to this location uh, don't be surprised if you spook him but uh, i know roughly how far to go i've had a look at him i've took some photos of him he looks glorious and uh, you'll see one of them on the thumbnail but we're gonna actually hunt him now for the first time so can't wait to get him have you done this mission? Have you done the story missions for Matriki Park? Let me know in the comments. Ghost on Matriki Park is a big deal. It's one of the most special trophy animals you can get in Wed Hunter. So some of you have probably already done it. I haven't actually killed him yet. Uh, it's the first time going after him, but I did enjoy the story yesterday. <laughs> Watch out, we might not even make it yet. <laughs> it's always a surprise. We nearly got stampeded on the way there. Who needs predators when <laughs> you almost get stampeded every time you go somewhere? The thing is, I'd love predators. What would you add? There's been a lot of talk about predators, actually, in Way the Hunter, especially on the official Discord. Join there if you're not a member already. Uh, people have been talking about mountain lions. Would you like those? I think they'd suit Nez Pierce Valley really well. Um, coyotes... What else could you add? There's there's other predators you could add, and I think it would be nice if they added them. If I did, or they did add uh, mountain lions or cougars, I'd have them not very common. I'd have a few of them, but I'd make them really dangerous, do you know what I mean? So it was an experience if you come across one, or you got stalked by one. Uh, I think that would be a really great idea, and it has been talked about quite a lot. I've been going on about turkeys. I want Nez Perce to have turkeys. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that Nez Perce Valley hasn't got turkeys. You could probably tweak them for other places. But um, I really do think that's a missed thing. And hopefully they get backfilled at some point. Would you like those? Would you like mountain lions or cougars added? It doesn't matter which map you add them to. But they would really suit Nez Perce Valley. Uh, turkeys, would you like those added to Nez Perce Valley or any other regions? Or any other animals you can think of? Let me know in the comments. Uh, coyotes have been talked about quite a lot as well so there's a few species a lot of people are talking about in the community being added and uh, it would be nice to add some of those especially some of the predators went hunting for samba deer the other day in the last video check that out if you've already seen it i enjoyed that and uh, that's part of the story and i didn't really expect what was going to happen in that so check that out and yesterday i didn't add this as a video but i was doing a mission as well in the story and i got another five star red deer from uh one of my favorite spots so that's got in the trophy lodge as well and today we're going after the ghost on matriki park which is a pure white red deer it's an absolutely monster i think it's an albino red deer um which there aren't any at matriki park and uh, can't wait to see him now, I'm wondering if it's called Ghost because it's so elusive. I don't want to uh, spoil the story for you, but it really is amazing. And once you get to the end of it, especially, you'll definitely uh, learn about Ghost uh, from that. And 
like I said, I've really enjoyed doing it. I've been doing it over the last two or three days at my Tricky Park. I've also been hunting for other animals. I've seen quite a few four-star tars now. Uh, we need to do a mission with those helmeted guinea fowl with a bow. I've been hunting with a bow a lot. So we've got some more bow missions coming up. I'll be doing those soon. I've been looking for lions again. Still nothing, even four-star on the lions. So we're uh, a bit unlucky with them. So uh, I went to Nez Pierce Valley looking for moose. I uh, didn't find much there. My wild boar at Transylvania, I went to check there. I'm not having any luck on those. <laughs> but I have found some three and four stars at Matrik Park for wild boar. So I might be uh, after those instead. I basically want to get a five star wild boar. That's one of my top three trophies at the minute. I want to get a five star lion. Um, at Tikamoon Plains, I want to get a five star wild boar and a five star moose. They're sort of my three top trophies I'm after at the minute. Uh, which I'm flitting in between reserves. I've also been to Aurora Shores looking at caribous and the Alaska moose. So there's a few I'm really after at the minute. So fingers crossed and a bit of hard work. Hopefully we get some of those very soon. So let me just go over this again so you don't get confused. Basically with Ghost, you basically do the story mission from a tricky park. Then when you get to a certain cutscene, he will be spawning on your map. And then it's just a case of coming to this location at this time, 10.30 in the morning, and then he'll be there. Don't worry if you spook him. If you keep coming back at this sort of time, he will turn up somewhere around here. You've just got to be stealthy, look around for him, and he will be there. So don't worry if you spook him. He will come back, um, even though you, you've finished the story. So At first, I was like checking for missions. Like, where's Ghost? Where's Ghost? <laughs> I'm not getting a Ghost mission. And I was looking everywhere, looking everywhere, and... Uh, then I find out that, like I say, what I've just described, that's what it is. He's just on your map at this location. And that's just a case of getting him. There is a couple of other red deers, but that is the one we are after. The pure white five-star albino ghost of Matriki Park. And he's absolutely in the perfect shot for it. Look at that. I've got this, the uh, 338 on. And uh, you won't get a better position than that for a shot. So, uh, he's down. I've come here five or six times to take photos. And I can tell you now, that is the first time he's been like that. <laughs> so I'm not going to turn that down. You had to come here first to get the photos for the thumbnail. Because I thought, I don't want to do the mission. Shoot him on the floor. And then he falls like in a bush. And you can't see him. I thought, then I can't get the thumbnail. So, uh I wanted to get a really clear shot of him, and you'll see him on the uh, the pictures I took, which are on the thumbnail. So, yeah, a lot of fun. But he was very spooky, I will give you that. I was calling him in, trying to get him really close, just to get the shots. And uh, three or four times, he did just run off. And uh, I was prone in the grass as well. In fact, let's have a look at some of the footage of me doing it to get the thumbnail. Now, I made like a 30-minute video just to get the, the thumbnail, you know what I mean? I was recording it just in case. But I didn't want to shoot him while doing this because it's sort of, I don't see it as fair using the camera uh, to see where he is to shoot him. Uh, so that's why I didn't shoot him while doing this. But I wanted to get the pictures anyway, which I'll show you me doing it. But yeah, it took me like 30 minutes to get into this position, prone, keep calling him to get him close enough so we could use the uh, drone to take the pictures and that's how I did it. So I thought I'd show you me doing it and calling him in. And then when I got him close enough, like I say, it took quite a while, 20, 30 minutes to get him close enough. And then uh, basically we got the shots like this. The tool is so good. But there we go. That's him close up. So this is Ghost. Ghost of Matriki Park, the famous red deer. And like I said, if you haven't done the story of Matriki Park, give it a go. All the stories in Wet Hunter are a lot of fun as well, and they put a lot of effort into them. But there is Ghost. That's what he looks like up close. So I thought I'd show you that. I hope you appreciate the uh, the effort that went into it. Like I said, I wanted to show you this because, then, like I say, you wouldn't know. How. <laughs> That's that took me basically like two or three hours to get this, just to get this little bit that we've just shown you. <laughs> But it would have gone unseen unless I included it. So that's why I wanted to do it. But that's Ghost of Matriki Park. And there is other red deer around. So if you hear other red deer calls, don't be surprised by that. 
There is a few zones you can see there's a drinking, there's a rest zone for him, I think, in this area. So keep a lookout for those at half ten in the morning. And here we go. As you can see, he's not just like a mature, he is more white. So I don't know if he's classed as an albino, but uh, that is Ghost, the legendary five star red deer of Matriki Park. So we'll take a little picture with him. Now that's the thing, I didn't want to, he's fell actually quite nice here. I thought if he if he falls face first in the ground and I can't see his body, I thought that's no fun now, I'm gutted. So uh, it was worth the extra effort to get the extra uh, thumbnail shots. I need to finish off the Nez Perce Valley story uh, mission as well. Um, I'm so far through that, I can't remember, about three quarters of the way through. So I need to finish that off. So I might do that. I don't take him in planes. I finished the Matriki Park story mission, so uh, I think Nez Perce, I might go and visit that and uh, finish off the story missions here. Would you like to see that? Let me know in the comments. But what you've been hunting for this week on Way the Hunter? Let me know in the comments. Would you like to see anything added to Way the Hunter to any of the other maps? So something like Backfield, like Animals. Would you like to see any guns added to Way the Hunter? Any brands? Let me know in the comments. There's lots of things they could add to Way the Hunter. We've got another map coming August, September probably time. The next new map. So look into that. 100% genetics. That's why he's the ghost. He's the king of five stars, basically. Look at that, 100%. 240 kilos, so max weight as well. He's just like the ultimate specimen. <laughs> we lost 39 kilos on meat, but you do lose quite a lot of meat on the 338. But look at that, 499.9. <laughs> so basically about as good as you're going to get for a red deer. He's like the ultimate stag specimen. Let's have a look at him. Let's inspect him. Have a close-up look before we go and mount him in the Trophy Lodge. Trophy Lodge is getting full. There's still quite a few trophies at Matriki Park I need to get for some of the trophy mounts. But yeah, we've been knocking it out of the park, uh, literally, <laughs> at New Zealand just recently. And uh, I've got a few I've been watching at the minute. Like I say, I've got feral goats. I need to get one of those, a five-star. Sick of there. Um, I've got some... Himalayan Tars at a four star. In one group, I've got like three four stars there. So that's looking good. Um, a Samba Deer, I'd like to get one which isn't in the story. So that's on the list as well. So there's a few at Mitriki Park I still want to get and uh, add to my trophy lodge. I don't think we've had a five star Shamwar yet from here. So there's a few still to go after. But let me know in the comments what you want to see next. But this area is very good anyway, as you can see, there's lots of uh, different species, but that's where you want to be going. Half ten in the morning, and it, you can come from whichever angle you want to, whether it's above, below, uh, from the left, right, wherever you want to come from. But that is the area you want to be at. Next video after this will probably be the Hunter Classic, and we'll be working on a brand new video for that, which is going to be a great surprise. So that's probably going to be going at... Tuesday or Wednesday we'll see but you never know when I make content sometimes something just pops up and I don't know about it like an update or something like that so I might have my schedule planned out for the week or the videos I'm going to do and then all of a sudden it all changes because of a lot of things happen at once and sometimes it does happen like that like some weeks in a busy week especially in like periods of the year so if you don't know this video games normally launch big updates in certain periods of the year um, to do with sales periods basically so you have like Easter uh, you have like autumn you have Christmas they're like three almost guaranteed sort of uh, times of the year when big updates will comes out uh, for games so uh, during them sort of times you get multiple updates uh, new content releases so I'm like oh I've got, I'm doing this this week I'm doing that and in between like three different updates come out for three different games and I've got to do and cover all them at the same time so content does shift around sometimes when in those sort of periods of time so I'm looking forward to the next ones um, I think Call of Wild a lot of people are wondering when the next map for that for example I think that's probably going to be normal summertime probably June and uh, I'm looking forward to that because uh, they took a long time on that map to make it absolutely amazing. So uh, I think summer's going to be massive for Call of Wild. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But this 
is all about where the hunter today and we've been going after ghost on matriki park the legendary five star red deer been an amazing hunt and like i say i've enjoyed the story of matriki park and i've had a lot of fun doing it check it out if you haven't already seen it don't skip over it it is really enjoyable and the devs put a lot of work into that so thank you nine rock game devs for the stories but there you go there's ghost of matriki park we've got him in our trophy lodge hope you enjoyed the video i'm robert tube we've been playing where the hunter at Matriki Park, New Zealand, going after the ghost of Matriki Park, this legendary five-star red deer. Please subscribe to YouTube channels, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.